Well, we hope you're enjoying the visuals on our broadcast of the, of the matchup between the Navajo Tech Skyhawks and the Adams State Grizzlies. Northland basketball presented by Choice Wireless, everybody. And a big thank you for being here. Hey, you know what's kind of cool? <laughs> I just noticed. As soon as we get a dead ball, I'm going to have our floor camera that's manned by our producer Derek Simmons. I'm going to have him turn around and 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 pan that group of officials. There are more officials in the building than I've ever seen collected in one place at one time. Check this out. I think there's some training going on, some 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 official officiating training happening with uh, some collegiate basketball here today at Gallup High School. Hey, there's a nice transition bucket. Count that one for Austin Valdez of Adams State, the Adams State Grizzlies in the green.
taking on Navajo Tech, the second game of this doubleheader for the Navajo Tech Skyhawks. Pull up jump shot, no good for Mylon Johnson. We had a few things to work through here. Glad we were able to bring you the visuals and now we can add some, some commentary to the whole thing. There's a nice looking three and the lefty stroke is down for Cameron Wenberg, his first basket of the game. So the shot good there. Now a pull up on the left side. May have been a little contact on Joseph Matahiera's shot, but it did not go in. And Adam State will have it back. The Grizzlies on top, 12 to eight in this one. So the second game of the day for Navajo Tech and a, a few different names. A lot of these guys are the same. Handling the ball right there. That was uh, Mylon Johnson and he Got it down low to Freddie McCoo. Both of those guys played in, in game one today. Joseph Davis is on this roster. Tyvon Kelly as well for, for Coach Rob Floco, the head coach of this Navajo Tech team. Now back outside for a three, and that one's going to be just off the mark. No good for Valdez. Austin Valdez and Coach Floco calls timeout for Navajo Tech with just under 14. Minutes on the clock here in the first half of this one. Northland basketball here at the Sports Owners presented by Choice NTUA Wireless. They're happy to announce their new towers in Crown Point and Theroux. Also coming soon in, in Pruitt Baca. You can work, stream, surf, and play with the full power of our broadband network. You may qualify for free internet with Choice NTUA Wireless through the Affordable Connectivity Program. Find out more by calling 928-730-22. 73, that's 928-730-2273. Choice NCUA Wireless, Navajo owned, Navajo proud. And a 12 to eight advantage for Adams State here in this first half at Gallup High School. Sports Zone's broadcast of Northland basketball produced by Derek Simmons, our technical director, Noah Anderson. Also with us today on camera. And I can't, I'm trying to remember the hometown. Mm. Well, Leonard Keone, I'm gonna have to think about it. Remember where you hail from, my friend. Here's the shot. And the shot is just off the mark. No good out there for Tyvon Kelly in the lineup for the Skyhawks. Momentarily knocked from the dribble of Bo Marshall, but he retrieves it. Adam State goes back to work. The dish inside, and the shot no good. But it looks like Duncan Blatch is headed to the foul line for the Grizzlies. And Mylon Johnson picks up the foul. Foul shot is good for Duncan Blatch. And the Gri Grizzlies at the free throw line are three out of three. And the lefty will get another shot right here. And he makes it good. 13.30 remaining in the first half. And the Grizzlies out in front by six. Playing some tough man defense. Skyhawks going to work. Cedric Yates inside the move and too strong, but he got it back. Got the offensive rebound. Feeds it to Johnson. Now inside. That one is good off the glass for Joshua Tillman. First points of the game for Tillman. Adam State. And they go on the attack. The shot no good for Ben Parra. And then Johnson couldn't control it. They had it knocked out of bounds. Momentarily stops the clock with 12.45 left in the first half. And a 14 to 10 Adams state advantage over Navajo Tech.
Able to get the ball in at the Alvarez. Throws it in to Mylon Johnson. Back to Alvarez. The bounce pass inside to Kelly. Tyvon's turnaround is no good. And it's rebounded by Ben Para. And then a whistle, so that's a turnover. Send it back the other direction and a chance for Tech to cut this one down a little bit. In the paint, the shot is no good. Joshua Tillman tried to make it go, couldn't get it done. Drive, kick it out, left side, swing it. Somebody open at the top. That's Josiah Browser. And Browser has his second three of the game. So I guess there's brothers out there. Josiah Brosher, Zeb Brosher, I believe, are brothers. Doesn't that make sense? Inside it goes, and a foul is whistled. I believe that's going to be Wenberg, Cameron Wenberg. And it was. He picks up his first foul of the game. Shooting foul for the Skyhawks. Cedric Yates at the line. Great shot of Al Brandon by Joe and some of the other members of that Skyhawks basketball team. By Joe showed up on the in the in the uh, in the book for this game, but he's not in uniform for the game. So I'll just say, all right. Yates makes good on the second foul try. Six point deficit. He and his Skyhawks teammates trying to work, work through. All right, good drive. Nice finish. Jordan McKay. Adam State is quite a bit smaller than Hillcrest Prep. The team that Navajo Tech faced earlier today and lost by eight points to. But Adam State is getting it done. After the takeaway, the shot is good by Winberg. Cameron's got the two. 21 to 11. Double figures lead now. And Navajo Tech will try to get three back there. That shot no good. And there is a whistle. And it must have hit the uh, support member. Take a look at the shot. No, no, actually a foul called. And the foul is on, on uh, Cedric Yates of, no, take that back. Double zero, there's a foul on Bo Marshall. Okay, second on Bo in the game. Dontrell Donetso has checked into the lineup, handles the ball right now, and gets it to his teammate Alonzo Smith, also new in to the game for the Skyhawks. Donetso drive, left hand, and no good there, but he got a little contact on the body. Foul is on Wenberg. That's foul number two on him in the game. Donetso to the foul line. Dontrell Donetso. That foul shot is good. And he makes the second as well. Oh, 
Eight point lead for the Grizzlies, and they've got the basketball deep for the three, and the shot is good. Count it. Elijah Carlson has his first field goal today. The Grizzlies, like we saw the Skyhawks in game one today, they like to shoot the three, and they're, they're pretty effective out there for sure. Four threes in this first half already. Offensive rebound, the putback no good. There was contact on McCoo. Freddie McCoo going to the foul line. And it was Josiah Brasher, this is the guy that committed the foul to get him there. And look at this, three already in the first half on Josiah. He is going to have to check out. This is Freddie McCoo at the line. Freddie able to get that foul shot. Makes one out of two, and the Grizzlies get it back. Here they go, halfway. Just passed halfway through the first half of the game here. Kick out, three on the way. That one no good off the back iron. Jordan McKay the miss. Gets it back, reverses it in. So the sports zone doesn't begin our actual broadcast season of Northland basketball until late November. We got an invitation to come out and uh, cover Navajo Tech here this weekend at Gallup, and we appreciate Coach Rob Floco for reaching out to us and getting a, a good look at this team. They've got a lot of talent, Navajo Tech does. There's Donnell, Dontrell Donetso working his way to the jump shot. It's good. Skyhawks trying not to let this thing get too far away, but got to make a crisp pass. Got to got to be better than that one right there. Austin Valdez stepping in front and taking it away. And a foul committed as well. On the other end, Anthony Alvarez whistled for the Skyhawks foul. So a timeout is taken by Adam State. They've got a 10 point advantage here in this first half with 7.58 remaining until halftime. Northland basketball here at the Sports Zone is presented by Choice NTUA Wireless. And they are happy to announce their new towers in Crown Point and Peru coming in. Coming soon in Pruitt Baca as well. You can work, stream, surf, and play with full power of the Choice Broadband Network. Find out if you qualify for free internet with Choice NTUA Wireless through the Affordable Connectivity Program. You can visit a Choice NTUA Wireless location nearest you to get started or give them a call at 928-730-2273. Go online right now to choice-wireless.com forward slash ACP to get qualified for a free internet connection today. Choice NTUA Wireless, Navajo owned, Navajo proud. Foul shot missed by Ben Para. Boy, Ben, that, that is a familiar name. Is Ben, is Ben from Sabino High School? I can't remember. That just seems like a really familiar name to me. There's a nice drive and finish by Freddie McCoo, and Freddie's got his first field goal today for the Skyhawks. Jump shot on the way. Para unable to connect. Skyhawks eventually end up with it. Up the floor, Mylon Johnson, the jump stop there. Bracketed by defenders, has to force it outside. And a travel call, yeah, that's a good call. Picked up the pivot foot before he put the 
dribble down and a turnover by the Skyhawks. Nice, the snow cone and a good finish on the drive by Elijah Carlson. Seven points in the game for, for Elijah. Well, I, I believe we've got viewers out there. It says we've got viewers out there on our broadcast. A number of you. Maybe somebody check in on the on the chat to let me know how it's going. Does the sound is the sound okay for you as you listen to the broadcast? Is everything looking good on your end? Maybe you check in on the uh, on our live chat on the uh, YouTube broadcast. Hey, let us know. Committed by uh, Marahiera, and I hope I'm uh, pronouncing his name correctly. We didn't get the pronunciation key before the game. Elijah Carlson at the foul line after the third foul of the game on Joseph Marahiera. And the foul shot was good for Carlson. He's got a great first half going. Nine points already in the game. And from downtown, Mylon Johnson connects on the first three of the game for the Skyhawks. By this point of the last game, they must have had six threes already. Not this time. Drive by Carlson. Carlson is easily the high point man on, on the other side. And now in double figures. 11 points in the game for Elijah. Matahiera, the drive, the spin, the kick outside. Got it out to Talon West, and now working on the baseline. A little trouble with the handles by Joshua Tillman. And that pesky Grizzlies defense. Here's a shot from way out there. And Bo Marshall unable to connect. 32-21, the lead right now. And they'll work it inside and make it a 34-24-21. There's Austin Valdez. Second bucket of the game for Austin. Oh, just good defense from behind. Samba Ungala into the game now, into the lineup for Adam State. He saw his opportunity to get a hand on the ball. Almost wrestled it completely away from Joshua Tillman, but more importantly, forced the jump ball. On the possession arrow. Skyhawks get it for the inbound to Joshua Tillman. He's got that shot. He and his guys down by 11 right now. Pull up right side and make it 13 once again as Carlson finds his range on the mid-range jumper. He is uh, he's lighting them up out there. And Matahiera's shot no good from three. Carlson, slip, and gave it up. And Valdez almost got it back. Into the game for Navajo Tech is Jason Redhouse. He inbounds the ball. Anthony Alvarez. They're going to find Matahiera in the corner, and he'll slip. 
Both teams having trouble with the with the grip shin on the on the sneakers. And ball out of bounds off Adams. Inbound for the Skyhawks. Four minutes remaining here in the first half. Tillman trying to find a lane, and he was cut off. A number of defenders there. Duncan Blatch was the guy who really stopped him. And the Grizzlies get it back. Blatch with it. Puts it on the floor. And lost it out of bounds. Game two of today's doubleheader from Gallup High School. Tillman outside, Red House. That jumper no good. Tips out, Grizzlies going to run. Carlson, foot on the line, and long two-point shot is good. Elijah Carlson. He has one three in the game. There's another whistle and we'll see the call here. Tillman gets called for the personal foul. And for Joshua, that is his second. Nope, no, nope, first foul. First foul in the game on Tillman. Should be two shots. That should be two shot bonus, double bonus. And this guy keeps on tallying the points. How about 17 first half points now for Elijah Carlson? Drive dish and nice little kind of a baby hook for Freddie McCoo. Whistle and a foul. And that's going to send Adams State to the line. That was McCoo. Made the shot a moment ago on the other end. Commits the foul on this end. And the beneficiary is Jordan McKay. Here he goes to the line. Jordan's got four points so far in the game. Well, that first one fell in for him. Perfect on the second try. 10 of 13 from the foul line. That's what the Grizzlies look like in this first half so far. 2.27 till halftime. And roll it on up there. The shot no good. Maybe an offensive foul on the follow. Well, uh, Freddie McCoo was he was trying to argue with the official, and I think you I think you heard the response because you pushed from behind, and I think that was a pretty legit call by the official. When you're in the middle of that, sometimes you you can't feel where your hands are going, you can't feel if you get an elbow in there or something like that. And it looked like he got he got into the uh, the opponent pretty pretty severely, and I believe that's Freddie's fourth foul of the game. Good enough to send Jordan McKay to the line. Jordan, good enough to make the first one. He now has seven points in the game. Unable to make the second. McCoo got the rebound and then had it knocked out of his hands by Ben Para. Para just returned to the game. 
And he, he made Freddie pay for not, didn't have his head on a swivel, Freddie. Downtown Carlson, that shot is no good. Doesn't miss many, hadn't missed many today. McKay now back outside Carlson, that's gonna rim out. He's right there on the range, did not quite go in as you saw there. Red House pushes it up. Shot from the corner, no good. Rebound, put back, this one is good. Devon Yazzie, we know Devon from Window Rock High School. Devon just checked in, he's got his first points of the game. Carlson, swing it, corner, shot, no good for McKay. And Talon West with the Skyhawks rebound. Minute 20 left in the half. Only a 16-point advantage. Well, that's going to drop right down to right down to 13. Anthony Alvarez. First points of the game for Anthony. Para couldn't make his shot. And then a travel violation. Samba Angala. Ball in the paint, lost the handle for a moment. Nice save, and then, and then the shot is good. I mean, a great save by Jaden, uh, Jason Redhouse. Jaden Redhouse, Monument Valley player this year. He's going to be a senior. Last year was a hero in the state tournament with a big three-point basket for the Monument Valley Mustangs. This is Jason Redhouse with the assist, the save in, and then the basket by McCo. That was a big shot. The lead for Adam State is cut to 12 with that. Here comes the inbound. Drive. Dish. Angala, the shot inside. He missed it. Maku rebound. Outlet. And then a travel. Travel or foul? Yeah, travel. Still waiting for the uh, the actual signal. Maybe I missed it. Inbound and a takeaway. Alvarez gets some space, dishes. Tillman shot, it's no good. And it comes down. To Brasher and Adam State. And then a whistle and a travel and all kinds of activity. And it looks like Adam State going to get the ball back. Well, there's a timeout. With 2.7 seconds remaining in the first half. 43 to 31. Skyhawks would like to Skyhawks would like to get this thing down to single digits if they could, but 2.7 seconds. It'll be a tall order for sure. And Adam State will have the basketball for the final. Final look at it here before halftime. Thanks for joining us for Northland Basketball here at the Sports Zone. It's presented by Choice NTUA Wireless. Big matchup here between Navajo Tech. Sorry about that. That's the wrong one. It is not Hillcrest Prep anymore, guys. It is out of state. Do we have that one? We do not have the Adam State graphic. Well, we got it in there somewhere. We'll find it for you. Inbound and up the floor and at the buzzer. Very long shot. Good. Good effort at it, the turnaround, and it was, of course, Skyhawks basketball there. Good effort by Jason Redhouse, but at the buzzer, the shot didn't fall, and that's it for the first half. Adam State 43, Navajo Tech University 31. Welcome in, everybody, to Northland Basketball in our 2023 20, through 24 
campaign of basketball on the on our live uh, our video live streaming channel at the Sports Zone. Thanks for joining us here on the YouTube for all of that. We won't have the actual official launch of our basketball coverage across the Navajo Nation and the White Mountains of Arizona until late November. This was uh, in answer to a request made by head coach Rob Floco, the athletic director and head coach of the Navajo Tech Skyhawks basketball program. We appreciated the uh, the request for us to come out and do the broadcast. And that's why we're here, everybody. And if uh, if it might be possible at some point for us to to uh, expand our coverage to New Mexico and also further continued coverage of at the collegiate level, like here with Navajo Tech, you know, it's something that we would endeavor to do. And a lot of that depends on you, our viewers, our listeners, and your assistance with our potential sponsors to help make that happen. So let me put the pressure on, on y'all folks. And uh, the development of uh, additional resources to, to get that done. Meanwhile, it's halftime here, 43-31. Adams State in front of Navajo Tech in this matchup. From Gallup High School, everybody, Northland Basketball is presented by Choice NTUA Wireless. Continue to watch those highlights from the first half. We'll take a quick break and be back in a few moments to get ready for the second half. You won't hear any audio because they do play music in the background here at the gym. And if, uh, if, the, uh, if they pick up that, at YouTube, too much music and uh, and it uh, isn't covered up by the commentary, then they will shut down the broadcast. So we don't want to let that happen. So you won't hear any audio for a little bit. You will watch some more of the highlights from the first half as we continue on from Gallup High School. It's halftime here. The Northland basketball broadcast. Of Navajo Tech taking on Adams State. The Grizzlies lead the Skyhawks 43-31. We're back with the second half in just a few moments. Stand by, everybody.
Well, we're getting ready to play some basketball again, everybody, here for the second half. So we'll grab uh, we'll grab that uh, live look on camera one. Gentlemen, after we get the look at the basket made there on the replay, and let's go, let's go live. There it is. Live look at it as we get you right back in ready to go for the second half, everybody. This broadcast of Northland Basketball is presented by Choice NTUA Wireless. Welcome to Gallup High School, our first chance to broadcast here. I got to say, it's a great facility. Uh, we enjoyed working with the athletic director, Sean Manuelito. Also from the IT department, Stuart helped us uh, immensely. And I, I don't know Stuart's last name, but he was fantastic. So if you know the, uh, the uh, staff out here and you know who Stuart is, please tell him I said thank you. So we watched the first shot, points of the second half. Joshua Tillman able to make that happen and connect. And I'm just taking a look at the uh, first half numbers here. Nobody in double figures for the Skyhawks in that first half as we also get the second personal foul of the day called on Joshua Tillman. And uh, good enough to send Bo Marshall to the foul line. And Marshall makes the foul shot and the second as well. His first points of the game. Mentioned that Elijah Carlson had 17 first half points. And we're going to get a whistle. And that is the fourth personal foul of the game on the Grizzlies. Isaiah Brousher. Isaiah is going to have to head to the bench here shortly as the shot attempt inside by Joshua Tillman is denied. And Marshall trying to finish in transition with the big with the big dunk. Unable to do so. We have seen, I don't know what the deal is. Maybe these uh maybe these goals here at Bas at uh, at Gallup have something on them. We have seen three attempted dunks today get completely rejected. And rejected by the iron itself. It's almost like there's a depth perception issue going on with a couple of guys that have gone up to try to throw it down. Second half underway, Northland basketball here at the Sports Zone, presented by Choice NTUA Wireless. Long shot, no good for the Skyhawks. Rebound. By the Grizzlies, and they'll work it, try to work it inside. A nice look, no look pass by Austin Valdez. But uh, unable to handle the ball, it finally goes out of bounds off Duncan Blatch. So I mentioned Elijah Carlson of the Grizzlies led them with 17 points in the first half. Jordan McKay had seven points. Isaiah, uh, Josiah Brazier had six points. Cameron Winberg, five points. Austin Valdez had four points in the first half. Joshua Tillman works inside, and his second chance basket is good. Stayed with it for the offensive rebound. Got the basket to go. He's got eight points now in the game. Leading scorer in the first half was Dontrell Denetso, had six points. And that young man right there, you saw miss the shot there. Anthony Alvarez had three points in that first half on a three-point basket made, which was one of only two threes that the team made in that first half. The other one belonged to Mylon Johnson, which accounted for all of his points in that first half. And Tillman picks up foul number three on his afternoon. Beautiful facility here at Gallup High School. Shades of the Nash Center, Monument Valley. Feels like it's about the same seating capacity. As we watch a three-pointer go down for Elijah Carlson. He's got 20 in the game now. That's his second three of the contest. 13-point advantage for the Grizzlies. Inside it goes. Tough shot for Dontrell uh, Denetso, and he is unable to make that one go. That'll be Elijah Carlson's first foul of the game. 
Team foul number two for the Grizzlies. The other team as well, the Skyhawks, have two fouls, and this guy has the foul shot. Tenetso, seven points, leads the way for the Skyhawks. And that shot is good as well. Hey, nice gliding 14-footer for Cameron Wenberg. Good looking shot by the lefty. Hey, did we count the three down there? 53? Okay. Backdoor cut. Nothing there. Kick it out to Tillman in the corner. Across the baseline, drive and dish. Oh, it all looked pretty. Nice work along that baseline, but after Anthony Alvarez dished it to Tillman, he couldn't make the shot. Then it got knocked out of bounds. It will belong to the Skyhawks, but boy, that was a lot of good work down there. Running, they were running a weave on the on the baseline, and not the easiest thing to do. You wanted to see them finish with points on that, didn't you? But they did retain possession. Red House kicks it outside. Mylon Johnson, he's got it back. And Red House way out there. The shot is no good. And Tillman, I think, picked up another foul. And he did. Boy, that one, uh, I, I, would, I would argue a little bit on that one. I think that was very little contact. But unfortunately, Tillman has to leave with that. It's his fourth foul of the game. And Freddie McCoo is back in. And he's got four fouls. The two big fellas rotating today for the Skyhawks, at least rotating in this back half of the doubleheader. They are in foul trouble big time. There is a, a basket off a beautiful dish. Duncan Black, she is the guy that gets the basket. Beautiful assist from Carlson. Lob it, McCoo, turn around, off the glass nicely. Great job by Freddie, and he's got nine in the game. A little slippery out there, I guess. We've seen it a number of times, guys have been slipping, especially when they try to come to a jump stop. Johnson from the foul line. No good there. Tipped out to Red House. And now wide open in the corner. The shot is delivered. Tyvon Kelly. He's got his first three today, and it's back to a 10-point game. Drive whistle. And they're going to say... They're going to say a hand check, I think. Uh, Jason Redhouse has his first personal foul today. Team foul number four in the second half on Skyhawks. Ben Parra for three, and Ben's got that one. And a travel call. Yeah, I, I could see it coming. Again, a little slippage, and I think that I think that caused uh, Jason Redhouse to, you know, he was trying to find some grip. It ended up being that the foot kind of slid a little bit, of, bounced a little bit there, and then there's your travel call. Ara brings it in front court, and then Marshall tries a three on the left angle. Bose shot no good on the outlet. It's tipped out of bounds, but the official says that was last touched by you, Skyhawks. So it will be Grizzlies basketball here with 14.40 remaining in the second half. Thanks for the response out there. A number of people telling us on the chat that everything sounds loud and clear. Glad to hear it. Para. Guarded by Johnson. He's going to get it away. Wenberg. 
And then a hand check on uh, the defender covering Wenberg. That's Tyvon Kelly. Foul number one on Tyvon today. So the inbound, Blatch throws it in. And a drive and an offensive foul on Bo Marshall. Player control foul. Inbound it goes. Johnson now at the top. Kelly pulls up. Let her fly. Shot no good. And out of bounds off of Blatch. Last touch by the Grizzlies. Under 14 remaining in regulation. A 55 to 42 lead at the moment for Adam State. Spin, fade, Johnson missed. McCoo the rebound. He's got it knocked from his hands, and there's a foul. The only question is who got him, front or back, and it was the guy in the back. That's Ben Parra's first personal today. Tuba City checking in on the live chat. How you doing, Tuba? Nice little spin and use of the glass by Dontrell Denepso. Well, the shot is good for Dontrell. Dontrell, by the way, played at Navajo Prep. Well, I did not see who made the shot for Adams on that one, that last effort. But I got a good look at that big three from downtown, Tyvon Kelly. Yeah. That time it was Ben Parra getting it done, wasn't it? Tyvon Kelly is getting hot. They're leaving him open. He's got three threes in the second half and a couple on back-to-back -back trips down the floor for the Skyhawks. Getting this thing back within reach. 59-50, still the lead for Adam State, but the Skyhawks are battling back in this one. Timeout taken by the Grizzlies. Two discuss matters. You see the timeouts remaining there on the on the graphic. Navajo Tech four timeouts remaining. Adam State has four as well. We've got 12:23 remaining in regulation of this one from Gallup High School. Northland basketball brought to you by Choice NTUA Wireless. And Choice NTUA Wireless is happy to announce their their new towers in Crown Point and Thru. Coming soon in Pruitt, Baca. You can work, stream, surf, and play with the full power of our broadband network. You may qualify for free internet with Choice NTUA Wireless through the Affordable Connectivity Program. Hey, Coach. Visit one of our Choice NTUA Wireless locations nearest you and get started. Give us a call at 928-730-2273. We'll go online to Choice dash wireless.com forward slash ACP and get qualified for a free internet connection today. Choice NTUA Wireless, Navajo owned, Navajo proud, contact and a steal, no call made. Pretty aggressive takeaway, I'll tell you. By Austin Valdez, no whistle. And the outlet pass for the Skyhawks is going to be taken away and there's Valdez hustling down the floor to get a hand on it. Almost got it. Almost got the takeaway. It's 12. 
Been hustling, for sure. Austin Valdez, 59-50, our score here now. Look for the inbound, and it's controlled by Navajo Tech. Tenetso. And in the corner, the shot is good. That's a big three. Joseph Matahiera. Look at this, a six-point game and an offensive foul on the Grizzlies. And all of a sudden, some momentum coming together for the Skyhawks. Valdez going out. He's made some plays here the last couple of moments for the Grizzlies. They're going to give him a rest. Samba Angala comes into the end of the game for him. Ben Para is the guy that committed the foul. Second on him in the game. Each team has five fouls in the second half. Tenetso picks up the dribble. Freshly into the game is Eric Yates. Hadn't played in a while. Now he's back on the floor and a three missed by Tyvon Kelly. He's got the hot hand right now. That one would not go in for him, however. Boy, a three right there would have been monumental for the Skyhawks as they work to try and erase what was a, boy, what was it, a 15-point lead a moment ago, a little while back for the Grizzlies. That one won't go. The follow won't go. Tipped out. Ben Para head fake. That one will go. Great job by Para. Couple of offensive rebounds on that trip up the floor by the Grizzlies. Able to... Able to get two necessary points and try and stifle that comeback that's coming together by the Skyhawks. This three on the way. Kelly missing that one. Well, he was hot for a while. Missed the last couple. I got you, man. And we're going to get a whistle. I believe a timeout was. No timeout, guys. There's no timeout. Nope. Come on. No, nope. no timeout given. Skyhawks tried to get a timeout. No timeout granted. Either that or somebody thought there was a timeout being called, and, and there wasn't by either one of the teams requested. One way or the other. Again, no timeout. Somebody is checking in from Tucson, watching from Tucson, originally from Chinle. That's Lynn Charlie. Thanks, Lynn. Inbound. Grizzlies on the attack. And the shot from downtown is no good. Carlson misses. Had missed many today, that young man. And a rebound for the Skyhawks. Halfway through the second half. And on top, Skyhawks the basketball, swing it. And Dontrell pulls up on the baseline. Great shot, the mid-range jumper from, from that corner, that side. Tenetso's had a good game. He's got 12 points in this one. But then Para answers in transition. Para's had a great second half. Nine points, all of that for the young, young man have come since halftime. Answered, Anthony Alvarez. Off the glass. Shovel it, Para, three on the way, not good. Back iron, and that's going to be knocked out. Well, uh, fortunate for uh, Duncan Blatch, he didn't get called for a foul. He got the hand on the back. The official was shielded from the play. I, I don't think she could see. I don't think she could see the contact there. So knocked out. And it belongs to the Skyhawks. Can they cut down that six-point lead? Drive by Kelly, missed that shot, tipped. Marshall has it. Grizzlies own it. See on the graphic there, it's the second half, not the second quarter. They're, they don't play quarters in college basketball. Here's the drive, the reverse lay-in would not go in for Carlson. Elijah hadn't had quite the second half as, as he did the first. Skyhawks is going to give it up. Talon West 
trying to throw a little bit of a blind pass to Denetso, and Denetso was going toward the corner. Talon thought he was headed down the baseline, and that's going to be off one of the uh, one of the two Skyhawks and out of bounds. Into front court, the Grizzlies have the basketball. Good defense by Alvarez, and then as he tried to take it up the floor, he was summarily schwacked. Technical term right there by Elijah Carlson. And two fouls in the game on Carlson. Inbound the Skyhawks. And they're going to get it inside to McCo. And McCo then is going to get his fifth foul. He ran right over the top of Ben Para. That'll be five in the game on McCo. So he's done. He's going to foul out here and limp his way off the floor as well. He kind of got banged up on that contact. And that, that hurts a little bit. McCoo's had a strong game in this second half matchup, second game of the, the doubleheader for the Skyhawks. Nine points, he leaves with that. And five fouls, and he is replaced by another guy with, five, with four fouls, Joshua Tillman. Alvarez. Fighting for it for the Skyhawks. He got a little bit mixed up there with the Elijah Carlson, and it's out of bounds off of off Alvarez. And he pushes again. Yeah, he pushed. Alvarez is battling, fighting. He's trying to he's trying to get the official to agree, but I, I think the official called it exactly right. <laughs> well, you're, you're gonna battle. You're gonna you're gonna plead for your cause, aren't you? And uh, Anthony, you can tell, Anthony's, uh, what is he, a, a law student? He got some great arguing skills, that's, that's for sure. But uh, whistled for the foul. Seven fifty-three remaining in regulation. A one and one after Alvarez commits the foul. That's the seventh in the game on, seventh in the second half on the Skyhawks. And did not expect Elijah Carlson to miss the front end. He did. Here it goes. Alvarez. Fade away. No good. Tyvon Kelly flies in there, gets the rebound, tries to get the rebound, and then it has it knocked out of his hands, out of bounds. So the Skyhawks will get a chance to throw it in, run, a, run an inbound play. Comes in to Tillman. Back to Alvarez. Donetso on the drive. Joshua Tillman back outside. Anthony Alvarez, his three, no good. He falls nicely and gets the takeaway. Great hustle play by Anthony Alvarez. Tyvon Kelly along that baseline. And he gets some contact out of it. Not a shooting. Well, no, I think it's going to be one and one. Should be the seventh team foul on the Grizzlies. Zeb Rauscher is the guy that commits the foul. That's the first on him in the game. And the guy that goes to the line for the one and one is Tyvon Kelly. Oh, they're going to they say he was shooting. Interesting interpretation. So he's going to get two shots out of it. And the second one is good. Seventh team foul on the Grizzlies. Both teams in the bonus now. And Alvarez steals the Blatch pass. And he gets fouled on the way in. So two shots on the way for Anthony Alvarez. And it's Duncan Blatch picking up his first foul in the game. Here come a couple of those guys off the bench for the Grizzlies. Five point game. The lead for the Grizzlies. Uh, this uh, Skyhawks team has battled here to come back from 15 or 16 down here in the half. 
but at this juncture, you got to make those shots there, the free throws. Critical. And a miss by Alvarez. Gets an, a second chance. And a miss there as well. And on the rebound. Another Skyhawks foul. This time Talon West. Single foul in the game on Talon so far. Bo Marshall has come back into the lineup for Adams State. He joins the high point man, Elijah Carlson, who is out there. Cameron Wenberg is going to the foul line to shoot one and one right now. Austin Valdez has come back into the game. Ben Parra is out there right now for the Grizzlies. And a one and one for Cameron Wenberg. Who's going to join us at Sammy C's after the game? Wenberg the miss. I did not see the follow. Who got that follow? Montreal Donetso. It's a five point game. Well within reach for the Skyhawks. The drive and the blocking foul. Well, hold on a second. They just called the foul. They must say, okay, there must have been a hand check before the contact. They're calling the foul on Talon West. Let's see if we've got a, a, a replay. Let's look at it after the first foul shot by Valdez. Well, we're not going to get a chance to see it right now. He missed that shot on the one and one. Now goes out of bounds. Can we see that? Because they called the foul. Right, must have been right about there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know, I mean, it was either that or the charge, right? The player control foul. That's a good call by the official, I think. So in comes the ball to the Grizzlies. Boy, how in the world did Elijah Carlson not go backcourt on that? He had a sliver of a lane between the defender and the, and the half-court strike. Drives, he gets it blocked, gets it back. Marshall, baseline, and he is out of control. Nope, blocking. Blocking foul call. Donetso gets called for the for the block. This is a clinic in uh, in officiating this game here. I'll tell you that. To the foul line, Bo Marshall. One and one, and Bo will make the first. Take a look at the second try. That one off the mark. And uh, let's see the rebound. Rebound by Joshua Tillman, but in the process, a foul committed by Cameron Wenberg. Wenberg has three fouls here with 6.02 remaining. We've been right here at five and, and six points the lead for the Grizzlies for some time now. Great comeback in the second half by the Skyhawks, but it, it's kind of hit a brick wall. We'll see if this helps. Jason Redhouse. First one good. Second one good. Well, after that last foul by Adams State, they have committed nine fouls, so from this point forward, double bonus for the Skyhawks. 
And the guys in green out there, the Grizzlies have been there already. The 10 team fouls already committed by the Skyhawks. Look at this, a four point game. Tillman dishes to the corner. Alvarez unable to connect on that. That would have been huge. If he makes that shot, make it a one point game, are you kidding me? And Alvarez is going to get called for the hand check. Two fouls in the game on Alvarez after that one committed. And now two shots for Elijah Carlson. Carlson hit his first six free throws before missing on the seventh try. That was a few moments ago. That shot, good, and this one good as well. Well, the one free throw made gets this one back to a seven-point game. Alvarez follows the Kelly miss from downtown. The tip-in is good for Anthony Alvarez. Listen, Anthony is a battler. I'll tell you, he is scrappy. You see him on defense right now doing his best to shut down Elijah Carlson. Staying man-to-man -man outside. And Valdez drives and scores, Austin Valdez. Well, if you're going to trade twos, you know who's going to win this game. Back to six points, the lead for the Grizzlies. Four and a half minutes remaining here in regulation. Head fake, pull up, three is up, and good big shots for Jason Redhouse. He makes a big one, and I'll tell you who approves, his grandma. His grandma's here in the house, and there she is right there. That's Jason's grandma watching the game and loving what she just saw at her grandson. And look at this, rebound, but pass from Alvarez, stolen, Austin Valdez, great defense. Ben Parra able to finish after the feed from Valdez. Well, that was a great job by the Grizzlies. And they almost found themselves in a position they wouldn't want to be in. It might have, might have been tied that last trip up the floor by the Skyhawks. Drive, Kelly, dish, spin, shot good, Tillman. Timeout taken from the bench after the make by the Skyhawks. Big make right there. And we're, we're at a three-point game, everybody. The Adams State Grizzlies, 72. The Navajo Tech Skyhawks, 69. Thanks for joining us, everybody, for our broadcast of Northland Basketball here at the Sports Zone. It's presented by Choice NTUA Wireless. Take a look. Alvarez, the dish. The head fake, step left, fire away, and the shot good on the replay. You see it there. Jason Redhouse knocking it, knocking it down. Well, where's Jason from, you ask yourself? He's from Buckeye, Arizona. Went to Buckeye High School. Found his way all the way up north to Navajo Tech. And a timely shot, clutch shot. Navajo Technical University, located in Crown Point, New Mexico. And a great opportunity for all these young men and the, and the women as well that play athletically at, at Navajo Tech to further their educations. Adam State, kick out, Valdez. And a block shot, Tyvon Kelly blocks the shot attempt of Jordan McKay, who hustles back down and steals it back. Jordan didn't like it. He knew he was gonna show up on a, on a highlight reel, so he said, I better make a play on the other end, and got it back. Approaching three minutes remaining in regulation. Carlson, Valdez, Rauscher, and inside to McKay. And he gets fouled. I believe that was Tyvon Kelly who got him. It was. 
It's heating up, everybody. Final moments of this one. Two fouls in the game on Tyvon. And two shots on the way right here for Jordan McKay. Well, Jordan's got nine points in this one. He's also got some pretty nifty pink, pink shoes to complement the green. The shoes did not help him make that foul shot. To get another right here. See if he gets to double figures. No, missed everything. That's going to be Skyhawks basketball. Tough miss right there, and McKay's going to exit the game. Guy that replaces him, Cameron Wenberg. Let's check your five Skyhawks for the moment out there on the floor. About to throw it in, Dontrell Denetso. He gets the ball in to Mylon Johnson. Joshua Tillman on the floor right now. So is Jason Redhouse and Tyvon Kelly, who lets it fly from the left angle. No, no good out there. Rebound, Tillman. From the corner, other side. That shot is no good for Redhouse. Clutch moments here now. Who can close it out? A three-point game. 72-69. About 150 seconds remain in the game. And an offensive foul. No. Five-second call. Good defense. And the Grizzlies give it up. Well, the Grizzlies had a great first 20 minutes. Had a, had a halftime lead, and then, you know, they continue to play well for a few moments of the second half, and then the comeback. Unfortunately, a big turnover there. Mylon Johnson gives it up. A takeaway by Adam State. Contact in front court, and Johnson gets called. Two fouls in the game on Mylon Johnson. Two shots for the guy at the line, Elijah Carlson. He had 17 by halftime. Five more in the second half. He's a trusty foul shooter, that's for sure. So far in the game, nine of 10 at the line. We'll see if he stays above 90%. He does. 24 points for Elijah Carlson. Mylon Johnson up the floor. Red House has it. And he just kind of got himself in no man's land. Had to force a, force a pass, and Kelly couldn't retrieve it. Tipped away. Under two minutes remaining. Back up to a five-point. Grizzlies lead. Carlson got that five-second call the last time down the floor. One of the last times down the floor. Timeout from the bench. Caleb Cotton, the head coach of this Adams State team, calls timeout, everybody. Northland basketball is presented by Choice NTUA Wireless. 74-69, Adams State in front. And a word from Choice NTUA Wireless. They've got their new towers now up and operating in Crown Point and Thoreau. And coming soon, another tower in Pruitt Baca. You know, you can work, stream, surf, and play with the full power of the Choice Broadband Network. And you may qualify for free internet with Choice NTUA Wireless through the Affordable Connectivity Program. Visit one of our Choice NTUA Wireless locations nearest you to get started. Give us a call at 928-730-2273. Or go online right now to choice-wireless.com forward slash ACP and get qualified for a free internet connection today. Choice NTUA Wireless, Navajo owned and Navajo proud. Want to let you know about our next broadcast here at the Sports Zone. It will be back to high school football. Next Friday night, we'll be at... Sholo Ford Stadium in Sholo, Arizona. The Cougars, Sholo High School taking on the Blue Ridge Yellow Jackets. That, that uh, incomparable rivalry between those two teams. And a must-win situation for the Sholo Cougars. That'll be on, on Friday night, 7 o'clock kickoff. 
from Sholo Ford Stadium. Join us for that broadcast of the Sports Zone Game of the Week. Meanwhile, we got a minute 19 remaining in this one, and contact and a foul. Johnson commits that, and he fouled the wrong guy, I think. You're getting down to the point where, you know, you got to foul somebody, but you got to make that guy give up the ball and then foul the next guy, I think. I, this is the guy you don't want to put at the line. He made the first six he tried in the game, missed one, and now he's made the last four. Make it five. He is a machine at the line. Carlson's going to be at 30 points if they keep putting him at the free throw line. Elijah connects on another one. 26 points today for Elijah Carlson. Easily outpacing anybody else on the floor. Tillman for three. That one is just a little off the mark. No good there. Brasha rebound. And here comes the ball into front court. Carlson. Back to Valdez. Wide open. Brasher underneath. Josiah Brasher back on the floor with his four fouls. Eight points in the game for Brasher. 40 seconds remaining. Nine point advantage for the Grizzlies. And Carlson has a rebound. That is about it. There's a steal. Kelly. Got to make a three, get a timeout, right? Did Johnson lose it? Tipped out, they say. Possession Skyhawks, 21.5 seconds remaining. Out of the game goes Tillman. Into the contest comes Talon West. Got to get another shooter out there. Tenetso, West, drive. Basket. Not the variety they need, I don't think, but the shot is good. Seven point advantage. Get a steal, get a three, call timeout. I don't know. What do you do? Thank you to Choice NTUA Wireless for sponsoring our basketball coverage at the Sports Zone. If you are a business owner across Northeast Arizona and you'd like to talk to us about getting involved with our broadcast coverage, there's nothing like it. Northland Basketball from the Sports Zone, you can contact us. I'd be happy to give you my email address. You can, uh, you can send me an email, floyd at sportszone123.com. That's me. You got a beautiful look of me on your screen. I mean, does it get any better? I don't know. Floyd at Sports Zone. One, two, three. Let me get out of the way of that. Uh, oh, come on, Alvarez. What are you doing? There we go. Here we go. There. Contact me. Send me an email. We'll talk to you about uh, sponsoring Northland basketball. Floyd at SportsZone123.com. Or go to our Facebook page and uh, send us a message, you know, any of the contact us any way you'd like. And we'd love to give you information on how you can get involved in what's going to be a, a jam-packed season. Last year, we broadcast 96, was it, Derek, was it 96 games? We broadcast 96 games, boys, girls. About uh, a little more than two-thirds of that happens right on the Navajo Nation. Some games across the White Mountains. Region uh, 3A North Region Basketball Tournament coverage. State basketball coverage. 96 games that we broadcast last year with Northland Basketball, and your business will get a ton of coverage. You want to join us in 2023-24? Uh, Would you like to do that? Under 10 seconds left here now. Send an email, Floyd, at sportszone123.com. Backdoor cut. And that one comes up short. That's how it ends. Seventy-nine, seventy-one, a victory for Adam State. We congratulate the Grizzlies on this win here today from Gallup High School. They knock off Navajo Tech. 
Back-to-back -back losses in the doubleheader for Navajo Tech, but it's their first action of the season. They haven't had a chance to play anybody but, but each other. And we congratulate them on the effort. Final score earlier was 82-74 in the earlier loss for Navajo Tech as they dropped that game to Hillcrest Prep. Two, uh, two games, very competitive. Tough way to finish, but fun for them. Fun for us to get some basketball under our belt here at the Sports Zone. Thanks, everybody, for joining us for our broadcast here from Gallup High School. And I say one more time, big thank you to the people here at Gallup, to the athletic director, Sean Manuelito, to their IT department. We got to meet Stuart. I don't know Stuart's last name, but we got to meet Stuart from the IT department. They came out, they helped. And it was great. This is fantastic. We worried about, you know, how that might work for us today at Gallup. And you know what? It was beautiful. So great job to the people of Gallup High School. This is a beautiful facility. We love it here. We would love to find the opportunity to come back a lot more often and do a lot more coverage in New Mexico with our brand, Northland Basketball, and here at Gallup High School. I look forward to a time uh, to return, a time to come back here. Thank you to Rob Floco for the invitation to cover Skyhawks basketball out here, Navajo Tech. And of course, a big thank you to our production team, our producer, Derek Simmons. Our technical director has been Noah Anderson. And working camera and doing a great job all night long. He brushed off the cobwebs and did a great job here tonight getting back into basketball coverage. Leonard Keone for the entire crew, Floyd Simmons. Thank you for joining us, everybody. Reminding you the final score, Adams State University has defeated Navajo Tech the University. 79 to 71 on this broadcast of Northland Basketball. It's brought to you by Choice NTUA Wireless. Until next time, everybody, God bless you, and good afternoon from Gallup, Gallup, it's not Arizona. It's Gallup, New Mexico. Bye-bye, everybody.